found it. Well, good morning everybody. We have finally found the trail that I've been trying to find. For some reason it's really hard to find out where this exactly is. It's not on Onyx, I can't find it anywhere else. So I watched a few videos of uh, other people doing the trail. Some of them were quite a few years back. Um, but it was still gave me enough information and then I watched one particular video. I won't say which one it is. But there was some drone footage to it and it almost was a dead giveaway because it took me about an hour of scouring the area everybody says it's oh it's out in the, the brunel down dunes area or whatever out here uh, i don't <laughs> it's a lot of miles of area out here to to go through and comb over the the land it's on on google maps and see exactly where this is but i did it and i matched it up to it and it worked and we're here uh, again, I'm not quite sure why it's so hard to find this and why I had to go go through so much. I've asked and asked and nobody gives any answers. So we're here now and we're going to do it. It's called the dip hanger. So I'm going to get finished getting loaded up here, get my camera bag and we're going to go hit the trails. Never been on it before, but it looks like a lot of fun. We happen to be out here by ourselves. So hopefully everything goes okay. Let's get it.
got a yeah, you're gonna have to There you go. You gotta try and crank it driver somehow. Cause there's a rock on top of the rock. There you go. Now on that side I'm not gonna go in a hole when I go up on that, am I? No. I don't think so. Try and drive her a little bit. That's as far as it'll go. Okay. It feels like it's going up. What's on that side? You're going to go up on the passenger side a bit. You're way clear of that rock. Send it. There you go. Okay, passenger. Turn passenger now. There you go. Pass. Keep going. You're good. Okay, so we made it to a stopping point here. Now we just came through that down there, and now we're gonna go through all that, which is, doesn't look too bad. So far, it's been pretty okay. It's been through that what they call gatekeeper, I think, back there. That one's a little rough. Um, had me a little worried at one point, but uh, thanks to the good spotting from my wife, and threw a couple rocks down here and there, and we made it through. Um, so we were, we were walking through this trail and we were looking up at this cliff up here. We noticed there's like two giant birds nests up there. So I'm gonna send the handy dandy drone up there to investigate. Now, if there happens to be any um, birds or you know small birds, baby birds, whatever in it, I'm not gonna bother them. I'm just gonna bring the drone down. Plus, I don't want I don't want uh, them attacking the, the drone. These things aren't cheap. But anyway. We're going, to, uh, we're going to go up there and see what's up there. Oh, one thing I want to mention, out of all the trails that we've been on in Idaho so far, this is probably the cleanest that we've seen. I think uh, she picked up, what, two pieces of paper. One was a little bit of artwork on it. Kind of weird. Um, but that's it. We haven't seen one piece of trash out here. Maybe that's the reason for it to be kind of unknown or put put out there to the public so much um which now i agree with it um if you want to know where it is i guess you just gonna have to find it because that's what i had to do but anyway let's go check out these nests
All right, so we, we come to a spot here that sometimes it can be kind of an embarrassing thing for rock crawlers because we're not gonna be able to make it over that. We only got 37s on this truck. If we had a little bit bigger, we might be able to. I'm just worried about getting the rock sliders hung up on that and teetering over it. I think I might've saw something like that happen in, in other people's videos. So I think you should go this way. We're, yeah, we should go over that, she says. I don't know, what do you think? That's a little crazy. That's some crazy talk, girl. Mm -hmm. So, somebody's made a legit bypass right here and it just goes up around this whole thing. We'll continue on. We're, if we were out, out here with somebody, some other people, you know, using winch equipment and stuff to get us off of that, but I'm not willing to risk getting hung up on something and, and we're not being able to get off of it. So, you have um, a winch. <laughs> There's my winch. <laughs> Damn, what is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, so we ran into a little problem with the truck. It's like, seriously, like right now, it's kind of inconvenient. We're way out here. I do have a jumper box, so. Tight, tight, tight. This is my old man ladder. <laughs> Definitely invest in one of these things because trying to climb up the tire and hang on it with this bar sitting there, it doesn't work. How many times have you backed over it? Oh, man. With it on. It's actually, it's tire. been getting more and more like every time we use it. So I keep backing over it. Five star review. Yep. WWRD, what would Rick? do what? what would rick do <laughs> right, rick All rick would have to do is look at it and it work rick what would you do okay so rick just keep saying what would rick do because rick is uh rick knows everything rick's my best friend he lives in washington state right now he plans to move to idaho so we can have more fun doing this he's really really good at fabricating and building rigs the guy is phenomenal at figuring out problems and getting them fixed, and he can build just about anything. Which is why I always say, "Why don't what you would ask?" Rick do? <laughs> or why don't you ask Rick? Yeah, I know, I get it. All right, we're gonna try fix a couple things on it. We're gonna see if it starts. Cross your fingers. Yeah. Yes. Hey Billy. Yep. I think we should go up that. Right there. <laughs> what? Let's get on that right now. Lock those lockers in. Yeah. I'm gonna have to decline that one. So I, I have no idea how far into this trail we are, 
there's absolutely nothing on onyx as far as i mean i can kind of see uh you know the distance we are from here to there but i don't know how far this trail goes but so far it's going pretty good all except for the, the battery not cooperating i think that's a bad connection i'm hoping that um that it ends up little crimping down oops that battery cable a little bit which is just a ground strap uh, should uh, fix it I mean it's charging really good usually when the charging drops it means it's it's charged up like it's supposed to be but it seems to be doing okay we'll test it here in a little bit oh my what do we have in ahead of us here <laughs> we know we're on a little break here from the, the rough stuff and now it looks like we're getting ready to head right into complete hell up here. All right, so we're gonna go up here and see what we're working with. So far, the first part of this doesn't look too bad. Uh, the closer I get, the easier it looks. That's some pretty good size chunks up here. Again, even this is probably gonna be Actually, there's so many big rocks piled up right there. Somebody's piled up so many rocks. It's almost like they built a freeway through here. We did it, Billy Ray. We did. Look at that. It's a pretty badass trail. You found it, and you did it. I did it. Good job. All right, so we made it through that uh, dip hanger trail, which was fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, a couple of glitches with the battery on this thing. Uh, I've narrowed it down to. Uh, ground connection to the to the 
frame or the body. Anyway, um, the battery's good. It's just the the ground the starter's not getting a good ground on it to turn it over. So gonna be an easy fix. I just gotta get in there and do it. Probably just change all the stupid cheesy you know stock wiring out of it. But anyway, we're heading over to um, where I don't know. There's uh, I know there's another trail over here. It looks like there is um, on the map. Um, but I can't tell if it's something that we can actually do and I don't know if anybody's actually really done it I just know that it looks like there's one over there. So um, We're gonna head over there. It doesn't look like it's too far. It's a little ways up here uh, Otherwise, I don't know any other way back other than going right back through that trail again And I feel like there's got to be another way out of here So uh, we're heading over there and once we get to it, we'll let you know and we'll update you what's going on So we, we, we found the other trail, sorry we didn't record and we kind of, we took the alternate path around the V-notch. Um, that just looked, that was pretty rough. Um, so we're coming down, the, I can't really remember the name of it, I'll get the name of uh, this trail and post it on here. Um, I don't remember it, but I have seen people, videos of coming down this trail. So we're uh, getting ready to attack it right now and see, it. Oop. and first things first, we get, Dip hanger. <laughs> Good on that side? Yeah. We're driving over some pebbles here compared to what we've done. Ugh.
Okay, so we got ourselves in a <laughs> bit of a pickle. We did that one short section coming down, the, whatever the name of the trail is, and uh, we came to a clearing and then investigated with the drone the rest of the trail, and it's just way, way out of control. So we're trying to find our way out of here, and we found a couple different spots that we can try to get out of here. It's not, it's not doable. It's starting to get late, so we need to get back to the truck as fast as possible. So we've got an hour and a half drive back home. So we're going to take this trail here. It's, we've got a little hill climb here, I'll show you. And then the rest of it looks like it should lead back to a main road according to Onyx. None of this is really marked very well, but we're going to do it. Hopefully we'll get back to some normal road stuff and get back to the truck. Pretty much our wheeling day is over, but we're not out of the woods yet. So let's do this. Locker is locked. Oh, I four wheel drive, dumbass. This gets pretty fucking steep right here, but there's nothing we ain't ever done before.